today on EA Sports. It's week 13 of the NFL on EA Sports. as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Today we've got a week 13 matchup and the Houston Texans. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Texan ball club entering play here. They've been as hot as anyone. The win last week makes it 9 out of 10. The results are hard to argue. If there's a team better suited for the postseason right now, I don't know who they are. The calendar has turned to December, and we're in the home stretch now as we're underway in Week 13. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. So here come the Chiefs for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their 5'11 quarterback from Wisconsin by way of NC State, and that's Russell Wilson. And he's had such a sensational season to this point, leading the NFL in passing yards. He's been helped out a lot by an outstanding set of receivers, and he's quick to give them credit. But I think even they would tell you that he's the guy that makes this offense go. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 17 carries, 60 yards. Just an all right day from him last week. He really didn't break out for the huge yardage he had hoped going in. I talked with him before the game, though, and he knows this is a new, fresh opportunity. He's put last week behind him, and his focus, getting some extra yardage with every carry he receives this week. On third down, Wilson works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From the gun, it's Wilson going right back to Knox and again a completion. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. Now Wilson. Open man is Palmer. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Here's Wilson finding Knox there, complete. And they'll work this down inside the 30. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Give him a couple on the scramble, it's second down. Now it's Wilson. Buying time to his left. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. That's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, 
It begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play with one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. Oh, and I think he went backward. He did. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. So here are the Texans now with a long field ahead. And they will be let out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league, the young rookie quarterback. And if you go by the numbers, he's had a Pro Bowl-type season. And maybe that's even selling him a little bit short. He's the NFL leader in touchdown passes to this point in the year. And with the end of the season not too far away, he's got his guys playing at a very high level. He's getting five yards on a play that started back inside their tent. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. The Texans in 9-2 to start play. And they've been playing their best football of the year, winners of four in a row. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Got a man, it's Patterson complete. And they needed two, they could only get one. Fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Hopkins. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they find a way to convert on fourth and ten. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Steps away. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Throw out right, taken in by Patterson. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. Oh, look at this. A flip to the kicker. He's going to try to run for it. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Chiefs' defense comes up with a stop. The Chiefs' offense about set to begin this drive. And they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are, but let's face it, partner. They can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. Pass complete, George Pickens with it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Forced out to his left. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. 
A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Got a man, it's complete, it's Palmer. And he will have a Chiefs first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. That's again complete to Palmer. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Wilson. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they're going to move it down to inside the 25. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? To throw again is Wilson. Throw left side is hauled in by Palmer. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Wilson. Dancing to his left. Got a man. Johnson in zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A great play there with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Chiefs will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And in the end, it was Deontay Johnson's touchdown catch to cap the drive. Taken at the goal line. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, called it the 26. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take... Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Jalen Petrie picks it off, and the Chiefs are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. A feather in the cap for the defender picking off one of the league's better quarterbacks so far this season, and add another feather in the cap for the coaches, too. Excellent game plan, and add their guys aware of his ability to roll out and how to defend against it. After the interception, here's Wilson. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. To throw again on second down, Wilson. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. The fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. And he punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. And this will be taken at the 13. A good head down running on the return gets about 15 yards. And there will be time for maybe one final play before halftime. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And with only four seconds on the clock, time likely for just one snap of the foot. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked off by Benjamin St. Juiced. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. 
So we've reached halftime with the visiting Chiefs on top. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Things definitely getting interesting around the NFL as we begin the month of December. So let's get right to it. We'll start our tour with a good interconference matchup. New Orleans on the road to take on Jacksonville. And this one, a one-point game at halftime. Marvin Jones, a touchdown catch in that first half. Next, we head up to the Windy City. Check on the Bears at home, Soldier Field. And they lead the visiting Minnesota Vikings at halftime. Two touchdown passes there for Deshaun Watson. Finally, let's get to the country music capital of the world. See what's happening with the Titans at home in Nashville. And they were losers in that one as they fall to the visiting Denver Broncos. Michael Thomas, two touchdown catches in the victory. Meanwhile, in our game, just the lone touchdown accounting for all the scoring. A tight one, 7-0 is the score. And for the call of the second half, we send it back to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition. He's got a man complete. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Rolling to his right. He's going to fire one, corner of the end zone. And got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Amari Cooper, 44 yards. And the Texans come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. So we're right back where we started. All even has the kicks away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. On first and 10, it's Wilson. And yeah, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Now it's Wilson working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. And they work this well upfield across the 45. On first down, Wilson. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. They'll toss this right side to Singletary. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. Throwing is Wilson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. 
They go right back to Singletary. They'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. There's Wilson to throw. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Here's Wilson. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Wilson's throw taken in by Palmer, and they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they've got it first and goal. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A great effort there. Hitting double digits with his 10th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Chiefs have moved out in front here in the final minute of the third quarter. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 14 to 7. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. They're going to look to throw. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he is stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards, but needed ten. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Now a play fake here on first down. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He'll buy some time right. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. The 20. Touchdown, Houston. DeAndre Hopkins, 69 yards. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. 
And they no longer have the lead after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter, and a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. T.J. Watt, that is one he will remember. It's sack number 85 of his great career, moving him past Hall of Famer Howie Long on the all-time list. Another try after the first down sack. Wilson. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up the third down. But backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. To throw is Wilson. Steps away to his left. And he stopped up short of the first as they tackle him down at about the 36. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. He'll return it from the six. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Texans are going to have the football with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. On play action, they'll throw. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Getting down to the good stuff, all tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Now that run, that's exactly why you stay with the running game. You don't abandon it totally. You stick with it, keep telling your guys to stay motivated, and they found a crease on that play. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. On second down, a run with Patterson. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. We dominate today! First and 10, it's Patterson. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll go again with Patterson. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. They'll look to throw. They'll roll him out right. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown. And they've broken our tie here in the final minute. Tucker now for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays, and it's capped off by the late touchdown. It's a seven-point lead here in the final minute of the game. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee, and they'll put it out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now, but let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. Uh -oh. On a bad time late for a poor throw, it's intercepted. 
picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Texans are going to take possession of the football. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Rolling to his left. Oh, and this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll set up to throw. Got a man. It's caught inside the ten. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Flush to his right. This is caught. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a capper on this game. Tucker with the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. The drive there only spanning three plays, and it ends with a Zach Ertz touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. One last shot for Wilson. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. Now, uh, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed an intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory. So for the Texans, they continue to be one of the best teams around as they move to 10 and 2. Then they will hit the road next week. Come and get me.